did it happen? How did the world get swallowed up so quickly? It was because we had our eyes closed, even when we could see. And we let them get too close. It had been 30 years since my mother was killed by a Triffid. She was trying to understand them. I've been doing the same ever since. For me, it's always been personal. For the rest of the world, the Triffids were simply a practical solution. They contained an oil that quickly replaced fossil fuels. Triffids became man's best friend. But they didn't see the consequences. And I couldn't get them to listen. We're disconnecting this Triffid. Confirmed. Triffid tether deactivated. Dr. Mason, you're clear to start your reaction test. So you trying to get something else out of the troops, Dr. Bill? Yes, I suppose I am. You really think they can actually hear? Or like they can feel sound waves. Action time. If it is going faster with the new generation, seem to be evolving on their own. Uh, Lucy. Yeah. Is there? for their oil came at a price. The oil companies were forced to lock them away and keep the world in the dark. Take a wedge check. Sir, can I see your papers? There were those who thought we shouldn't interfere with Mother Nature. Yet were ignorant to the danger that waited inside the refinery walls. Waiting for the chance to be free. Security breach. Received and understood. Heather the Triffid. Do not enter the orchard without backup. Negative. Never last that long. I'm going in now. All units to the orchard immediately. Yes, that's right. Head of security needs urgent assistance. Get back! Stay back! Or she gets it again! It's what goes on in here then, huh? What are you hiding? Put her glasses back on and then we can talk. Glasses? Please, put them on. Please. I don't think so. Put mine on her. Please. You do. I know who you are. Dr. Bill Mason. I bet the Triffids know exactly what you are. You should listen to them, Doctor. Huh? You might learn something. Instead of stealing their oil, messing with their genes. What's wrong? 
you've lost your tongue. Huh? You got an opinion, doctor? Yes! Phenom sac's not fully developed yet. You hold on in there, Dr. Bill. We'll be in London soon. They say it will be the greatest light show ever. Northern lights seen as far south as Hawaii, a veritable rainbow of comets. But is it another result of the global cooling Triffid scientists have been boasting about or something else? With me is astrophysicist Edward Vorlis. Welcome, Professor. So tell me, do we have the Triffids to thank for the fireworks, too? Oh, we can certainly thank the Triffids, or at least their marvelous oil for saving us from global warming. But the fireworks, no. So, what is the cause? The sun. Tonight we will see its true power. It will unleash a solar storm, an unbelievably vast explosion of gas and nuclear fire that will send billions of tons of irradiated plasma shooting towards the Earth. And is there any risk to us, any precautions we should take? Only if you are a satellite. We humans will suffer no harm. We should sit back and enjoy the fireworks. Well, thank you, Professor. So, tonight we'll be covering this phenomenon from round the globe. My bosses are even putting me on camera. You know, you people should come clean how dangerous these plants are. Tell me, why do triffids always go for the eyes? Don't know. Well, you should find out. As I'd say, you have a 50-50 chance of losing your sight. Or of keeping it. Hello, I'm Joe Clayton, coming to you from the heart of London. And the sky really is quite spectacular. It's like the aurora borealis, only a lot brighter. We can see the bloody sky, Joe. Talk to some people. Get them on camera. Three. So we're going to go two, to Sydney. One. Give him your up. Uh, Joe, bring him in. Um, millions of miles away. Later, I'll be talking to people here yeah, and getting their reactions. Sound. But now, let's go over to Jim Watts in Sydney. Over there, Jim. The sun is so bright, it's really hard to see the sky. Joe, people have get yourself down the tubes. Uh, talk to some people who are ignoring this whole damn thing. So I'll make it entertaining, will you, love? All right, I'm trying. Just a few minutes. How long do you think you'll... back for you, Dr. Bill. How long will he be up for? At least 24 hours. Shame we'll miss the light show. Is everything okay? Yeah. Looks like it's about to start. It was glorious, as if the heavens ignited, a 
and God himself was conducting the show. It started and it's unbelievable. We never expected anything like this. And we get reports that it's the same all over the world. Is this us or is it them? Come on people, why are we losing these? And there's another one. Can someone tell me what's going on? Yeah, yeah, but no. I need you mm, to look at my eyes. Yeah, but I'm not that kind of a doctor. What's that? What's, that? What's going on? Fifty-fifty chance of losing your sight. At least twenty-four hours. No, you people should come clean. How dangerous these plants are. Fifty-fifty chance of losing your sight. Tell me, what do you do? Trick is always going to be there. Come clean. How dangerous. You have a fifty-fifty chance of losing your sight. At least twenty-four hours. You have a. Tell me, what do you do? Trick is always going to be there.
Is that you? No. No, it is. It's not Matthew. They did something to my eyes. Uh, I need to find the doctor. But there aren't any. I want to go home. Listen, I'm, I'm going to go and find out what's happened, and then I'll come back for you, okay? Oh, no. No. Please. Please. I will come back. Mason, you, you operated on me yesterday, on my eyes. I can see. Yes, I, I, I can see. I can see. What's, what's happening? What's happening? Everyone's blind, but not you. What? I don't understand. What do you mean everyone's blind? It must have been the sun, the solar storm. Everyone would stare into the sky. You could watch it, could you? I'll get help. I'll get help. Look, there must be someone who knows what's going on. I'll get help. Let me go. Listen to me. Let me go. Listen to me. Thank you. 
Radio went up. But if there were more people like you, what do you mean like me? Come home with us, please. I'd like to. Please, can you see for us? Can she see? Can you? I have to get home myself. I. Come with me. Help me. Don't let go of me. Help me first. Then you can go. Come with me. All right. I know her voice. Then you can go. She's on the radio. I mean it. It's Joe Clayton. She's getting away. Joe. Please, she's going! Please, no, she's going! Please! Turn away! a bit crazy everywhere. What are you doing? You're drunk. No. <laughs> not anymore, I'm not. <laughs> Get in the car. <laughs> Officer. <laughs> Sir, so I need... I need help. Go to the police station. What's she done? Under arrest. <laughs> No! 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 Where Please, is she? He's got my gun! Hold that man! Please! Please! He's got my gun! Where is she? You okay? Mm. Thank you, I'm, I'm Joe. Bill. Bill Mason. Will you be all right? Mm. Where are you going? Whitehall. I have to find someone in authority who knows what's happening. I mean, who knows how long the power's going to last. The power? Isn't that the least of our worries? The electricity on the farms could go down. The farms? The Triffitt farms.
What are you doing? Who are you? Nothing, no network, shit. Oh, God. Is it just us? That's what we need to find out. How come you missed the show? I was in hospital for an eye operation. What is that? No, this is a secure area. But we're sighted. There are no sighted left. Oh, you're what, five ten, ginger hair, and you look just as scared as the rest of us. Please let us in. Uh, if uh, I let you in, will you check if there's anyone else inside? Where's Where's the rest of us? Why are you letting us in? We need help. Move, water. Stay where you are, Sergeant. Let us through. Enough now, get back. Why aren't you letting us in? Oh, there. there you are. Get back on my little shoes. I can't even see. Now get back. Get back with the gate. I've got his gun. Get off. Government blind policemen shooting each other. I've got to get to my dad. I've, I've got to make sure he's okay. Well, you must have family, right? Someone close? No. I have to get going. Me too. Back to where I work. <sighs> Well, it's falling apart and you have to check on some plants. If it's on, there's some plants. Listen, say goodbye and...
This one. Soon. Doesn't make sense. What did this? Triffitts. Uh, I don't understand. You're you're telling me that Triffitts can move and do this to people? Yes. Keep your eyes open and keep moving. The orchard's been breached as well. this place? It's where the mill triffids are confined. Or it should be. Stay close. She was my friend. You people knew. You knew that they were dangerous, and yet it never got out. <laughs> Triffid oil saved the world from global warming. Do you think it would have made any difference if you had known? Ready? At least you have a generator. Fill the trifoil runs out. There's a sofa, you should get some rest. What are you going to do? I need to get my research before it's too late. Well, will you take me to my dad's? He, he, he lives near Windsor. It's miles from the Trippet Farms. working with Triffids, trying to make sense of them, and now my obsession seemed more important than ever.
What's that sound? Traffic recordings. They're communicating. So, what are they saying? It's what I've been trying to work out. It's the basis of my research. It's the way it's contained years of Triffitt's communications. I've proved the signs of evolving intelligence. So far, I've failed to work out what they're saying. And now they're free. Come on, let's get your dad. How many farms are there? Across the world, tens of thousands. In England, 500. Each one holds about 20,000 triffids. 10 million meat-eating plants. How do they reproduce? Same as other plants. The males pollinate the females. That's why it was essential that we controlled the males. And now they're out. Joe, we have to go. Bill, stop the car. Begun. We need to warn people. Thank you. 
This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC in London. Most of the people in the United Kingdom, and we believe the world, have been struck blind. There is no government, but there is a bigger threat to us at this time. With me is Triffid expert, Dr. Bill Mason. Dr. Mason, what do people need to know about the Triffids? They're extremely dangerous. And how are they dangerous? What do they do? Well, Triffids are large, carnivorous plants that can move independently, but because of the blinding, they've escaped, and so they're no longer being fed on the farm. They've started... They've started to, um... We know that they have started to attack and eat people. They have a fatal sting capable of reaching uh, up to 15 feet and they make a distinctive rustling, tick-tocking kind of noise. So if you hear or, or see one, you, you must keep, keep your distance. Where do you think that the triffids are heading? They'll gravitate towards the cities, to where the most abundant source of food is. Us. So if you are sighted, then arm yourselves and do what you can to protect those around you, especially the blind, and tell anyone that you can. My parents were botanists and they researched the triffids in, in Zaire. I was six, so I was with them. It was my father that saw with um, some genetic modification the tremendous opportunity for oil production. So he brought them back? Well, if this is his fault. Well, no. He provided us with a cheap, endlessly replaceable, pollution-free source of fuel that solved the energy crisis. He saved the world. <laughs> My mother felt differently. Where are they now? Well, I haven't seen my father for years. We don't go on. And my mother, she died in Zaire of a Triffid sting. I'm from MI5. I'd like to see the Prime Minister. This is where he lives, isn't it? 
do need to make an appointment. Of course. Hilda. Who are you? I'm Torrance. I'll just have a look around. You can't. Excuse me. Excuse me. Door. Do you know what? This all the same. As you stand here. Morning, Helga. You can't stay here. Well, oh, the PM's not coming back, I take it. Out running the country. He's gone, they, they all have. Well, then it's just you and me. There must be others. There's an emergency broadcast on the radio. Well, play it for me, Hilda. With me is Triffid expert, Dr. Bill Mason. Dr. Mason, what do people need to know about the Triffids? They're extremely dangerous. And how are they dangerous? What do they do? Well, Triffids are large, carnivorous plants that can move independently, but because of the blinding... Have got anything to eat, have you? So no longer A sandwich? Farm. I'll make it. We started to, um... Then we can go for a little drive. Hmm? Joe, Joe, Phil, just saw two flares coming from the city. A signal. Yeah. Which means there's other people, people like us, pe people we can see. from the city. Bill, who is that? Hello? Hi. I'm Torrance. Heard on the radio there's a bit of panic developing about Triffids. <laughs> Judging from the mess here. I think they're right. Help yourself to guns. You could do with some weapons. I'm Joe. You on your own? Why'd you ask? We're going to the city. We believe there's a sighted group there. Tell you what, why don't you come and join my group? Who's in it? Me. I think we're fine on our own. What 
Okay. See you down the road. Torrance. Yeah. How come you can see? Luck. I'm a naval engineer. Miniature submarines got caught doing a routine maintenance when all that went up. People I was with. Oh. Enjoy the weather. Joe. Enchanté. Keep that on, please, Holder. can easily look after those who can't. One day they'll find a cure and these people will find out who helped and who looked away. These people have every right to live. The same as you. That's enough. You and your friends must move along. We're not going anywhere. Come on, guys. Release her. My man will shoot. Shoot the blind? You wouldn't dare. Over their heads, one round. The people the next one's hit. Don't you have any compassion? You don't deserve to have your sight. None of you do. It's not over. What should we do? I need to know if these people can help. Go ahead. Crawl in there with the rest of the cowards. There are 30 of us so far, all sighted, and another 10 highly skilled blind. We expect more will come. We have our own generator. Who are you? Michelle Deedley, you're up at the Home Office. So there is still a government? No, there's just us. If you want to join us, you'll have to pull your weight. To do what exactly? To forage for essential supplies. The Colonel has lists of what we need. And what plans have you made to defend yourselves against the Triffids? I'm more concerned about our nuclear power stations than Triffids, Mr. Mason. It's Dr. Mason, and nuclear power stations can't move. Triffids can. The Triffids will stay on the farms. They won't, and they're not. Excuse me? I've read the official research. In that the event... research was commissioned by the Trifoil companies. Triffids need food, meat. If it's not there, they'll go and get it. And the biggest available source of food is us. They're large, slow, easy to avoid. Not if you're blind. Triffids have been genetically modified to die within three years, and the male plants are under strict control on the farms. Kingston Farm was sabotaged, and the male plants have escaped. And when they start to pollinate the females, the situation will be catastrophic. Which will take what? Months? Weeks? It could be days. Whatever emergency plans there were, they clearly can't be implemented. Therefore, our, our priorities remain as food, fuel, weapons and accommodation. And what about the Triffids? Well, you're the expert. What would you do? Don't worry. I promise to look after you and I will, one way or another. Hi. 
Major Coker. I'm Torrance. Torrance. Hey. I was driving. I saw you. Need any help? You bet. The blind won't survive on their own, so we're planning to round up all the sighted we can, if they want to help or not. Have you seen Dr. Mason? No. Let's come to order. Okay, let's begin. <clears throat> we face what happened to Britain when the Romans left. 1,600 years ago. Everything will crumble. Roads, railways, hospitals. This is our proposal. We find somewhere in the country, and then we start to rebuild. Have you had news from other countries? Is there any help on its way? We think what happened here happened everywhere. We're not expecting any help from outside. And what about the blind? I'm afraid we have no plans for them. We have no alternative. We are too few, they are too many. We can't look after them. We can't feed them. I see no way to save them. And no point in dying with them. It's wrong. It's so wrong. Bill? You're leaving? Where are you going? Go to my father's place in Sherman. But I've got to work out how to deal with them. Well, you better go then. Look, it's not my first choice. It's my only choice. You know, I'm clutching at straws. He may not even have survived. I don't know. His, you know, his original research, it might help. But we're running out of time. I'm coming with you. Joel, Joel, you may not agree with Beadley, but you'll have a much better chance of survival if you stay with her. She's wrong. What they're doing is ruthless. Joel, you need people. I don't need these people. You'll be safer with her. Joe, we were an accident. Oh, we met by accident, but we stayed together on purpose, didn't we? Can you stand? Yeah. Hold on. Attention all sighted. Each of you will be handcuffed right. to a blind citizen. Give me it is now your job 
to keep them alive. Oh, wait. No. I'm Jeff. Sorry about all this. Don't be. It's not your fault. I used to be a mechanic. I want a bad old life as long as it lasted. Well, I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. Why, right, because you can still see. <laughs> Rather you than me, mate. Hey. Sorry about the strong arm tactics, but you weren't going to help us of your own accord. Coco, what's going on? You've been splitting the groups. Decided it'll take care of the blind, make sure they have food and shelter. We're going to divide London into sections. And what do you find to do in these sections? I mean, about the Triffids. The Triffids aren't our priority. Yeah, well, they should be. We've seen what they can do, and so has he. What matters now is organization. What's your role in all of this? My role? I thought you said you were on your own. Then I met Major Coco. His plan to take over London interests me. Sorry, Joe. All right, guides will take you to your sections. Let's load up, guys. Look after Helena for me, Joe. Here we go, on the truck. Double time, everybody. Torn, come on, help out. Guides will lead you to your sections. Let's load up. Here we go. I'll get moving. I'm good and ready. Get in the truck. Here we go. Coker sent sighted and blind to forage for food and water. His heart was in the right place, but he was ignoring the threat of the encroaching Triffids, delaying me from getting to Sherning and the solution I was hoping to find there. And you, you come in with me. Let's do it. Where are we going? Taking over your pub, psycho. What's your name? Vronsky. You gotta pay. <laughs> we don't gotta do nothing. What you doing, you prat? That's disturbing. What is it? It's a trip of recordings. Something I've been working on. Discover anything interesting? Maybe. As long as it isn't attracting them to us. I thought Major Coker said they weren't important. Major Coker wants to talk to you, Joe. Me? Why? Read your name off the list. Realize you're behind the emergency broadcast. He'd like you to do another. Seems you're the famous Joe Platon. I always thought there was something special about you. No, I just work on the radio, that's all. Well, that's the thing. See, Major Coker was in the U.S. Air Force. Appreciates the, uh, 
the uh, importance of clear communication. Good for Major Coco, but um, tell him I'm fine where I am. Look, Joe, people know your voice. We think we can get a transmitter going, and you can talk to the people. You can reassure the afflicted, just like you're doing with Hilda. Yeah, well, thanks for the offer, but like I said, I'm fine where I am. You heard what she said, Torrance. Major Coco's going to be very disappointed. Seems you prefer hanging out with Dr. Mason than saving your country. You know about this place. Charlie led us here. I worked here half my life before the blinding. Night watchman. Not much of a night watchman now, are you? All right, Osman. Robot. Coca. Coca. Will you shut up about the Triffids and help? Charlie. <sighs> You're the watchman. <sighs> Stay here and watch. Three groups. Osman, Cheryl, Vronsky, get water. Joe, Hilda, canned goods. Bill, medical supplies. Got it? You think? Keep your eyes open. That's supposed to be funny. The Torrance commits, Coker. Greeting you, Major. I need you to come to the warehouse and give us backup. This place is full of supplies. Understood. You're gonna need a bigger car. So what was it like being a star? Rusty, come on. All right, make it quick. Oh, yeah. yeah. this Charlie, Charlie, you there? Tom, 
away! Come on! Osman! Anyone? is a coward. I want Bill Mason on our team. You get him whatever he needs to deal with the Trippets. Of course, Major. Excellent idea. Leave it to me. Kids, I'm leaving. For Bill, I wouldn't even be here now. Yes, he's he's quite the hero, isn't he? And he's our only hope against the Triffids. Uh, you wanted to see me? I did. Uh, <clears throat> about the radio broadcast for Major Koga. I changed my mind, and if there's anything I can do to help, I'd like to do it before Bill and I leave for his father's. Well, um, 
You will be delighted. What would be fantastic is if you could record something right now. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Back to you. See you no. This is Radio Britain, and I'm Joe Clayton, coming to you live from London. Please listen carefully to the following announcement. Trifids are now known to have reached major cities across the country. As you know, these plants can and will kill humans. Therefore, Major Coca has asked that every citizen, both sighted and unsighted, help to find them. making themselves known to you in your area. I repeat, this is Joe Clayton coming to you live from London. Can you come with me, miss? Uh, yeah, sure. Mason. Mason. Mason! Oh. Mason! It's Coker. Coker? Yeah. What happened? You got shot. Where are we? Being taken up to the Heath. Why are we going to the Heath? Orders. From Torrance. It's all Torrance. It's running the whole show now. Where's Joe? Ford says her too. Wow. Is this yours? This is yours. Say thank you. Oh, well, thank you, but there's no need. I'm only trying to help. Yeah, I'm tired. I, I think I'm going to go back and join the others. Thing is, you may not want to uh, just at the moment. What's going on, Torrance? Something's happened. Okay, Major Coker needed Bill to help out on another Triffid attack, and he's saved the lives of many blind people. I'm sorry. He's dead, Joe. No, you don't. I mean, it was a vicious attack. Major Coker says he's very sorry. Okay. <laughs> 
Check him out. Do it. Damn keys. Now move in front of me. Get in front of me. Do it. Alive. Is he? When you're better, you'll see clearly. I was thinking today about missed opportunities. Sometimes you have to act. I'm Joe Clayton, and you're not alone. Just because the whole world's going crazy doesn't mean you can't have that Ah! Ah! Outside these walls is chaos. Try shoot me. 
Christ. Maybe we'll have to accept that Triffids really are the dominant species. I'll give you a male Triffid. Mother Nature's finally taken her revenge and reclaiming the planet. It had been 30 years since my mother was killed by a Triffid. She was trying to understand them. I've been doing the same ever since. Hello, I'm Joe Clayton, coming to you from the heart of London. Where do Triffids always go for the end? Ah! Dr. Clutch, it's me, Bill Mason. What's happening? This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Most of the people in the world have been struck blind. There is no government. These people have every right to live. Over there, guys. I'm Torrance. Yeah, there's a bit of panic about Triffids. Triffids are carnivorous plants that can move. Their most abundant source of food is ice. Ah! I've got to get to my father's place in Sherman. We're going to work out how to deal with them. Ah! You've got to get to Sherman with or without me. Mason, you're under arrest. Ah! Being taken up to the heat. It's all Torrance. It's run the whole show now. It was a vicious attack. He's dead, John. Where do you think you're going, boys? Take where you are! Don't move! I ain't gonna tell you again. had it. The weather's getting worse. We're gonna have to walk. Try to find some shelter. At least the snow will slow him down. So if it's up in the engineer it's the survival of any weather. This is Radio Britain calling to you live from London. 
calling all citizens, men, women and children, if you are sighted, help the blind. Come to London. Here you'll find safety, food and shelter. Gathering points have been set up around the M25. Make your way there and you'll be safe. I'm Joe Clayton and you're not alone. Shot in the shoulder. Oh. Thank you, Father Thomas. I'll clean the wound and close it, then you'll need some serious rest. You were lucky your friend brought you here. I was lucky I found you. I don't believe in luck. Mother Superior. You were meant to come here. Meant to be cured. Body and soul. I hope you will stay. Here we're all equal. Oh. When you're better, you'll see clearly. London will seem like another world. Who's in charge in London? We don't get any news. There's no London now, Father Thomas. It's only us. If I was going to make it to Schoening, I had to stop, regain my strength. But I knew the Triffids would never rest. They would continue to hunt us down, find populated places, march towards London, towards Joe. Are we winning? Yes. So my messages are getting through. Absolutely. More people every day. Let me explain all this. The blue areas, right? We control. The red areas, we defend. Green is triffid. That's an awful lot of green. Well, it's still the safest place in the country. The important thing is that we survive. I mean, you're still here. I'm still here. Yeah. I wish Bill was. He could have helped us. Yeah, well, Bill's dead, all right? And you say that uh, Major Coke is too busy running the country? Hmm? I mean, what's his plan? The broadcasts were his idea, after all. Well, to be honest, Major Coke is struggling. I mean, it's people like you and me that are keeping things going. I mean, you, you're doing brilliant. You're bringing them in. That's what they say. I heard Joe on the radio. I heard her voice. That's why I came. Have dinner with me. Dinner? Yeah, just... Um, just, just the two of us. As if everything was just normal. It's the way you survive. By insisting that everything is normal. By refusing to give in. Sheer force of will. That's why these people follow me, because they know I'll never give in. Following you? Just because the whole world's going crazy doesn't mean I can't have a little bit of fun. <sighs> well, you know what? That is really sweet of you. Maybe next time. Okay? Okay. How long have they been there? At least as long as we have. I don't understand. Why aren't they hunting? Food must be getting scarce. There's so much of it in the Abbey. Yeah, I asked her about that and she said... She? And Durant, she's the Mother Superior. She's in charge here. I want to see her. Go with peace in your heart, dear Father Thomas. Father, come on.
it's always sad when first class people have to go. But he wanted to spread the word. Father Thomas will find more survivors, he'll begin a new community, he'll build on what we've done here. Well, he was a brave man. Oh, you're looking much better, Dr. Mason. Yes, I'm much stronger, sir. thank you. Major Coker tells me you're a Triffid expert. Well, yes. The Triffids, out there in the country, were well, they always so passive? First, they were quite troublesome. I lost many friends. But then God intervened. Really? How did God do that? He answered our prayers. When the peaceful nature of our community became clear, the Triffids returned to the wood and killed no more. You know, I've, I've been amongst Triffids all my life, and I've never known them to behave like that. We strive to live in harmony with nature. We intend no harm. We seem content with that. I was in your cellar. You know you have a, a generator down there. I could get it going for you, get you proper lighting, heating. No, I don't think so. But it would make things easier. <laughs> Come. Look, 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 look. Men built that tower long before there was electricity or power tools. It wasn't easy, but it stands. I don't want things to be easy. I want them to be right. people are eccentric, but if she's figured out a way to coexist with them, then what's... By being peaceful, we both seen what the trippers can do. The coca, they've got over 50 beehives out there. All it takes is warm and weather. Then the trippers will be pollinated, and then they'll spoil, and then we'll have hundreds and thousands of new plants. Do you mind the rest of the world won't stand a chance? If we don't find a way to defeat the trippers, then the human race will become extinct. I've marked the safe path through the woods, and God willing, it's only a mile. You'll get there safe. Find a vehicle. Thank you. building a wall to keep the triffids out. Torrance is out there. But they all fight for Major Coco. Torrance gives the orders. Torrance seems to have an awful lot on his plate at the moment. Um, why isn't Osman helping? I haven't seen that little creep in a while. He got what he deserved. We found bits of him up on the heath after the triffid attack. Never nothing could be other to. Nothing. Coco was all right. Didn't know the other bloke, though. So they really found nothing of the other two? Just what Thomas has got in that red box. Some bust-up old MP3 player. Oh, Troy. He's still missing alive. Is he? I, I don't know. Torrance thinks he might be.
啊。Time for your broadcast, Miss. Okay, thanks. Let's go. Join me in giving thanks and praise. Peggy, who has been chosen? Like Father Thomas and the others, to go out and build new communities. Dr. Mason, please, welcome, be seated. I know all about your new communities. I found Father Thomas's body in the woods, tied, sacrificed. Dr. Mason, do you know anything about beekeeping? The beehive is a symbol of the perfect harmonious society. Each bee has its appropriate place, its own task. And when the task is done, the bee is replaced quickly and efficiently. The hive acts as one, always for the good of the hive. Not for the good of the queen. Father Thomas was old. He could do nothing more for our little community. We cannot accommodate everyone who finds their way to our door. We have to prioritize. We have to make room. By feeding the surplus to the triffids. The Triffids are also God's creatures. I did what God wanted me to do, what he told me to do. Outside these walls is chaos. Here, everything is customary, ceremonial, safe. As long as you do exactly as she says, as long as you abandon the weak and the helpless, Believe me, every one of you here will die before she does. I control the Triffids. 
Without me, you'll all be overrun. No one has the right to choose who lives and who dies. Stop them! Let him go. Let him go. <laughs> These people trusted you and you betrayed them. If you defy me, you will be damned. Two, one. Hello again. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you can hear me. You can always stay. Work with us as an equal. You think it's going to be easy without me? I don't think they want it to be easy. They want it to be right. Truth, it's no me. This community will not survive. I was thinking today about missed opportunities. Taking over London. Did you ever know the right thing to do? And then you hesitate. And then it was too late. And do you look for that chance again? Except yearning won't make it happen. Keep your company. So you know Joe is safe and well. Sometimes you have to act. Sometimes you have to make that chance happen again. This is Joe Clayton, Radio Britain. Miss? Take care. Come back soon, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. your latest broadcast. Who are you talking to? My father. But he's dead, isn't he? Oh, not to me, he isn't. For a minute there, I thought you were talking to me. I was thinking about my dad and how I missed the opportunity to be with him. How I don't want to make the same mistake with you. What are you trying to tell me, Joe? That I've changed my mind. I want to have dinner with you. You're just saying that because you're scared. Well, I am scared, but... I know that you'll protect me. Better than anyone. Better than Major Coker. Well, he's supposed to be running the country, but as far as I can see, you, you're doing it all for him. And I have been ever since he died. <laughs> Clifford attack. Why didn't you tell me? I just didn't want to give you any more bad news. You see, I've been protecting you longer than you know. So you're the one that's in charge now. It's a new world, Joe. Yeah? It can be anything we want and do anything we want. Look at us. Look where we are. So do. Yes. When? Tonight, after my broadcast. myself on. The pollination of the Triffids was inevitable. Once they spored, any hope of defeating them would be lost. Time was my greatest enemy. 
Calling all citizens. Sighted and blind, man, woman and child, this is the voice of Britain. Come to London and lay your burdens down. Here there is safety, food and shelter. Here there is control. Here there is government, law and order. Yes, it might be delivered by the gun or the boot. But you won't get into trouble as long as you're prepared to fight. As long as you're prepared to die. Because that's what you're going to have to do. Be prepared to fight and die so that this so-called government can live in luxury and pretend that it is not losing the war. Don't, what so are you doing? You'll get us in London. trouble. The Triffids are here too. If you've survived this far, don't go to the centre. Don't listen to me. The voice of Britain is alive. I am Joe Clayton, but I am not the voice of Britain. The voice of Britain is you, wherever you are. What is going on? I told them. Here. You might stop talking. If you survive this far, don't come to the centre. Don't listen to me. So I told you to watch her. I, I, I saw her start. She was here. She's not here now. Find her!
Don't shoot! What do you want? Don't come any closer. I'm not going to hurt you. But they will. Who? Triffids. They'll know you're here. Yeah. I know Triffids. I was stung. Everyone who gets stung dies. Not everyone. Come on, Susan. He's okay. I'm Bill. Mason. Who are you? My name's Imogen. She's my sister, Susan. Where are your parents? We don't talk about it. I'm going east to this house that I know, which I hope will be safe. Listen, I need a car. Do you have any idea where I can get one? We help you, you help us.
Oh. You'll track them. We'll be moving off in a second. A little music's not going to hurt. Come on. Let's go. I can't see the name. Shining. Well, I think it's in a very secluded spot. It's probably not even marked. Probably. I haven't actually been there myself. You miss there, then? My father. Stay in the car. Stay in the car. There. Charlie. So, you're here because of the Triffids? Aye. Uh, and no doubt you want my research so you can try and stop them. Come back from there! Be very, very careful. Really, your father? Yeah. He's scary. I heard that. Calling woman and child, this is the voice of Britain. Come to London and lay your burdens down. Here there is safety, food. And shelter. Nothing personal, Joe. But you do go on. Two children, Bell. My, you are a dog. Sorry, this is, this is um, Susan and um, Imogen. I, I met them on the way here. They agreed to, to 
to keep me company. And to look after him. Thank you for bringing him home. I was... Well, I, I, thought, I thought that you were... <laughs> Come along, girls. Belongs to you. My terrific recordings. How did you get this? From Torrance. Hmm. How did those girls survive? Maybe they were too small. And Triffitt said easier prey. I, don't know. I promised to look after them. Just then. from the front. Go away. <laughs> so. So this is what you do with your retirement. Be busy. When you devote your life to studying Triffids, they tend to take over. But it does have its compensations. Here is how we stop the Triffids. an entirely new Trifford. One which would generate pollen that sterilizes rather than fertilizes. We extract pollen from the male specimen, modify it, fertilize the young female Trifford with it. She produces spores with the infertile strain. Simple. Elegant. But with the same genetic fix that got us in this mess in the first place. There are always unintended consequences, Bill, to everything we do. Sooner or later, someone's got to deal with them and make sense of what happened. You remind me of your mother. She was the genuine article, the real thing, a brilliant scientist interested only in knowledge for its own sake. Me, my motivation was a wee bit more practical. Oh, I've had the same picture with me for as long as I can remember. When that picture was taken, the future looked very bright for all three of us. The world, even. Yeah. I mean, look at it. Mother Nature's finally taken her revenge and reclaiming the planet. No one intended this, Bill. And now, given the consequences and the price that we both paid, do you think it was worth it? Do you? 
I can understand why you feel so angry. Angry? I was a wee boy, my mama just died, my dad, my dad. He just didn't seem to notice me. You're too busy serving the world. And... No, 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 you know, you're right. I never made time for you. I didn't know how. Well, you're so young, and I did try, but... Without your mum... These Triffids. I'd run to start sporing any day now. I'm glad you got your plans. I've got everything I need. Except a male. I've been hunting for one in and out of the old Triffid facility, but as of yet, no luck. I'll get you a male Triffid. Shooting. Reload. I need the practice. You don't need your mask. Yes, I do. And you should too. Mum and Dad don't. They're not Mum and Dad. They're Joe and Bill. Well, they're Mum and Dad to me. So that's his plan and you're going along with it. We have to try something before it's too late. Great, we spent our lives trying to avoid the shifts and then we end up back in a place that's going to grow them. Did you consider me and the girls? You were going to go out and sacrifice yourself. Well, if you've got a better idea, I'd like to hear it. I suppose Dennis could do that. Last time you and I were looking for a male Trifford, he came back with you. <laughs> I will come back. The clutch sticks a bit. Don't go over 50. And I would like it back exactly as it is. She needs to build her strength up if she's going to save mankind.
Officer! Shh, 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 shh. What are you doing here? I need help. Don't worry. I can take care of myself. Yeah. I've noticed. Do it again. You did well, so. How did you do it? This. It's got different sounds from the farm on it. I have a theory that different sounds provoke different emotions. And the proof? Try to identify the obvious emotions like fear and hunger, but. So complex, and I barely scratched the surface. Your mother was of the same opinion. Her biggest fear was that we'd exploit the triffids without understanding them. I couldn't persuade her to leave us I here. It was more than just oil for her. She recognized some indications of sensibility. They could communicate. She was convinced that if we didn't understand them thoroughly, we might live to regret it. She wouldn't let go. She just kept pushing and pushing. And in the end, she got too close. I miss her too. Yeah. You know, I... I always, uh, wanted to give you these. I never had the opportunity or the words. From Zaire. Your mother's recordings of Triffids. You know, once we've fertilized the female, maybe we can work on them together. Oh, maybe together we could uh, crack it. Uh, 
Oh. It's happening. The truth of the story. You knew this was going to happen. Not like this. Nothing like this. Good boy, Troy. That'll be all. People on the Isle of Wight. There's more than 200 of them. And they want people to join them. They've got families, daughters, schools. <laughs> well, there's life, there's hope. At least we have somewhere safe to go once we release a new breed of triffids. Oh, talking of which, feeding time. I'll be up in a minute. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is good. It's very good. Come on.
So, that could be the reason that the one your dad grew reacted to the sound. Perhaps it thought it was under attack. I don't know. Can you start again? No time. <laughs> It's never enough time. We can stay here a little longer. If you want to. There's nothing here for us now. We'll leave today. I'll white first thing in the morning. Imogen, where's Susan? Sure. Nothing's wrong. Hello, Jill. You hurt her. No. You child. Wait, come on. As you can see, I've come with friends. Where's Susan? Where is she? Susan. Um, all tied up. She wouldn't cooperate. 
I want you to take her, put her with the sister, and watch her. <laughs> well, good to see you too, Joe. Took us too much for you, were they, Torrance? Huh? We had terrible trouble with the Trevors. They started using the underground tunnels for sewers. Not very exposing. But now, now you're gonna help us, Bill. Good job you didn't die, huh? So what do we do, eh? How do we stop Triffitts? I don't know. Well, that is very disappointing. Because I was relying on you. I said to Troy that. I said, Troy, you know who we need now to help us with the Triffitts? It's Dr. Bill Mason. You'd better put your thinking cap on. It's too late. They've already spoiled. We either fight them or we give up. Or we could go to the Isle of Wight. I found a message from Major Coker. Why would you want to go to the Isle of Wight? You don't eat the Triffids. How do I, Joe? Yes, you do, because they made you. I mean, without them, you're nothing. You're nothing but a jumped up list. You don't you touch her! You don't you touch her! Okay, finger off the trigger. Stay of execution. You got until tomorrow morning to come up with something! Something to get us all safely out of here and down to the coast. You do that, that'll be great. If you fail, I take Joe, kill you, I give the girls to the Triffids. Is it a plan? Okay. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Lock them up. CCTV and controls for the electric gates if the Triffids attack. This place Triffitt proof, huh? Bring Mason to me. The solution to the Triffids is in my mother's recordings. It has to be. <sighs> if we can use the sounds to communicate with them somehow, then maybe we can control them. We've only got until tomorrow morning. And the noise of those men will bring the Triffitts. Yeah, well, we have to escape. We've done it before, and we will do it again. Torrance is not going to make the same mistake twice. So we have a much better chance against the Triffitts than we do against Torrance. Triffitts. What, Phil? The Triffitts could be the answer. We use my trippers recordings. We draw them in en masse as a distraction so we can get out. Well, it's a brilliant idea, but how are we going to get out surrounded by hundreds of triffids? Kill us all. It'll be all right. It'll cause confusion and maybe, maybe it'll give us a chance to escape. Mr. Torrance wants to see you. Okay. I was upstairs in the laboratory. Looks like you had a bit of a problem. Dad don't make it. Is this your mommy? She's Foxy. Well, how's your plan getting on? You let me know when you come up with a solution. You go till dawn. Otherwise, I reunite you with mommy and daddy.
was the device? I did it. I put it outside. Trepids! Trepids! Find the last trepid! Everywhere! Find this. Hold on. Bill, what have you done and done? No. Shoot the girls. Go, now. And be ready to put the electric fence on full power. My command. Orders to shoot the girls. Troy, this isn't you. Stop it. There's no way the torrents can get past the Triffids. We're leaving. Come with us. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Great. 
Anyone remember this? Look. Ah! Young love. Very sweet. You're leaving without me. That's not very nice. We're making a run for the toys. I mean, look, they're everywhere. <laughs> I know. They're gonna kill us all. Except you. I'm gonna kill you. Why don't you come with us? Huh? What, me? Well, I'm just a... jumped up nobody. Ah! Torrance, come on. <laughs> if anyone can get us through an army of triffids, Torrance, it's you. Oh, that's nice right, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> It's the mask, the mask, the mask. We have this. And see. And see. And see. What's going on? You must wear this. Okay, it was Imogen. She helped me to remember. It was the night that my mother died. I remember. I know how we can get through this. Trust me. You have to trust me. What are you talking about? You must wear this. This is Triffid poison. No, 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 no. It will save us. No. Wait, you can't. You'll kill her. It will save her. It will save us all. Please trust me. You have to trust me. Please. Please. Stay still, stay still, stay still. Ow! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ow! Trust me. Stay still, stay still. Trust, trust, trust. We must all do this. Pain will pass. Go! 
So we left for our new home, where we found other families, other friends. The sea was our wall against the Triffids. We cleaned the isle of them and our community started to grow again. Future generations will ask how it happened. How did the world get swallowed up so quickly? It was because we had our eyes closed, even when we could see.